Welcome back. We're starting the uh, final recording for what hopefully is the, the last day of Washington. Um, all I have done is I have hired a couple extra generals here and there to replace my wounded and you know take the command penalties. Um, and one more, I think somewhere this guy, one of these. Um, I do have a little bit of money left over, not a whole lot. Um, everything else went into replenishing supply automatically, that's why I wanted to leave about a hundred thousand. Um, used up most of it. I could replenish, um, arguably these guys. I'm not going to, uh, just because I don't want to mess up the, uh, the tabulation of their kills and, uh, casualties, uh, after the fact. But if this was, um, a lot closer, a lot more desperate, uh, absolutely that'd be something I would do. Um, I've taken a look at my um, numbers. These two brigades are still flanking, so I'm not worried about them. Um, the third corps was the corps that started in the field uh, first on that um, the northwest attack, and they were um, fighting on the field the longest, so that's why they've taken the most casualties. So I'm going to want to try and shield them if I can. So we're back. Uh, we're going to be back on the, uh, the map here shortly. There we go. Um, so my first corps was relatively healthy. I'm going to put them in Washington. Just um, and Then I'll put the second corps out here at Fort Stevens because they'll be the most um, exposed. And then the flanks, um, the, the wounded corps, and then my two flanking corps. My hope is that um, I can potentially stash some of the cavalry um, actually down here to and then they'll move over on the map transition to give Washington some more help because that way it's only that's not just one core fighting on their own um, so I had also made mention of this um, elsewhere but the Union Army strength is uh, 100,000 111,000 which is a little concerning because if only because in the map screen as, as you readers uh, may or may not recall, their army strength is only supposed to be 120-ish, 125. Um, but we already killed uh, or fought 60,000 and killed pretty much all of them. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've said this before, I'm not really sure I understand exactly how that, that, army, uh, that army value works. Maybe Washington is an exception. Maybe those 60,000 are effectively free and you always have to have to beat them. Um, maybe the individual battles count count differently. I don't know. Um, oh, well, maybe maybe hopefully a dev can can answer that at some point. Either way, uh, here we go. Battle Washington. We have to acknowledge the fighting spirit of the Federals who desperately fought to the last man yesterday. They did not leave an inch of ground undefended. All soldiers from both armies who sacrificed their lives shall be remembered for their heroic acts. Our men are exhausted from the full day of carnage, and now they have to fight again. The Army of the Potomac, commanded by General Grant and several Union Corps, have encircled us and prepared to attack. There is no way to escape, so we have to give our last battle here in Washington. If we hold the city and the forts, we can claim total victory. To battle, men. To battle. Um, so we've, we've seen all this terrain already. It hasn't changed. He said that we are the defenders. Um, hopefully I'll actually be able to deploy in some of these trenches, because if I can't, that's going to be a big problem. Um, I may not choose to use all of these trenches. Fort Stevens on its own can probably hold. I don't need the side trenches, I don't think. Um, I may use them just to prevent them from fully enveloping it, but I don't strictly need them. Um, and I want to keep an eye out to make sure I don't get flanked. Um, here, they're kind of isolated, so I'm going to give him some more attention because, as you notice, there's some more potential flanking coming in from this direction. They could bypass the fort. They could hit it from both sides. Um, I'll just need to keep an eye on there. Uh, similarly here, um, I actually I know I don't want to use these trenches because there is cover here that they can use to walk in. That's what I did. Um, I may want to use the second line of trenches, potentially. Um, although I managed I managed to push through those without too many problems. Or I may just want to give those up entirely and fight in Washington itself. Um, that's an option. Looks like they, they might be able to advance through here, so I'm going to want to maybe hold hold here as well. Um, we'll see. 
Um, obviously, as I said, we're surrounded, so keeping keeping contiguous battle lines for for internal reinforcement will be important. If I can get the cavalry in in these so-called flank uh, uh, core to get down to here to help out, that would be uh, that'd be pretty important because there is a lot of ground to cover. The northern side of Washington was conquered yesterday, but the battle is not over yet. The Union armies have assembled and are determined to attack and destroy us. General Meade is deploying to the left with the support of at least three corps. Gibbon's elite corps is preparing to attack Fort Stevens from the west. Several units of Sheridan's cavalry have been spotted behind these woods. The Second Corps is advancing with massive artillery batteries. If I get some artillery out there to, to get them, that'd be good. Fifth Corps. And Sixth Corps are coming from northeast, ready to blast our defenses with hundreds of artillery pieces. At least two more Union full corps are marching to the east side of Washington. All possible escape paths are blocked as more enemy forces are expected to attack us from the south suburbs of the city. Okay. Our fate is to defend Washington with all our remaining strength and utilize its own defenses to drive the Union back. Generally, we can use Washington's northern fortifications to defend ourselves. Holding Fort Stevens with strong brigades will safeguard our center. Fort de Russi must be held to defend our left flank. Honestly, it's kind of exposed, so that's one I'd love to give up. And Fort Slocum will guard our right. Brace yourselves, the enemy is coming. Okay. Very good that I actually get to deploy. Who are you? Okay, your second core. Yeah, your second core. You're also second core. You're my fifth core. You're my second core. Okay. And everybody is on the field, and looks like these are my flankers, third core. 4th Corps, 5th Corps, 3rd Corps, okay. Okay, so there's a bunch of guys here that they haven't deployed yet. Okay, this is fourth core. Interesting. Okay. So I have to I can only deploy it looks like within um their deployment zones. This is second core as well. This is all second core. Okay. Don't need you out here yet. Second division, second division. Where's my other second division? There you go. Because there are um, three brigades I need to deploy here, and then one artillery, and I'll try to run the second artillery over from these guys. Parrots? I don't really want to. I'll adjust that a second. Actually, what is this? Fourth, fourth core. Fourth core. 
Where are my... That's fifth core, third core, fifth core. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So usually I don't like to um, deploy artillery right in fortifications because you're just begging to get shot. Um, it's not really safe to leave them. Um, and I was having some line of sight issues, so I think I actually will deploy them inside these forts, at least for a little bit, and then if they actually end up losing a couple guns, I'll I'll withdraw them slightly and, and offset them. But I will try that at first. Um, these fortifications are problematic to hold because of the, the buildings that give them cover. So I actually want to push to the river instead and try to hold on the river. But I want some bigger brigades to do that. Similarly here, I don't need you. Get these guys. I'll get second core set first though. Okay. Um, first div, second core, second div. Ah, no wonder. That would have been a problem. Okay. First div, first div, first div. These guys again, I'll actually put them in the uh, forts to get to, to get them really to blast, or else I'll hold the parrots back further. Second core, fourth division. Put one here. I don't think I need to hold. I mean, there's just so much terrain here that I just don't think I need to hold. If I can stay concentrated and I'll preserve my forces. Um, well, I could catch them on the river here. That's tempting. You've got all of this here that I not need to have a couple brigades standing in the forest here, one brigade here, and then run a couple more up here. There's a gap here where they can sort of leak in. I'm not super concerned about put a couple brigades here. There's just there's just a lot of terrain to hold. I'm just not convinced that I want to hold this. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to give up on this, 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 this. Even though there there are rivers here to hold, um, there's just too much terrain, and it's very it's very wide on these barricades. It's very easy to, to outshoot, as we saw on our, on our way in. I'm going to hold these forests instead and sort of contract my lines. So in that case, okay, they said they, they, they said the artillery was coming from up north, so I'm going to want to sneak out there with my skirmishers. 
try to get out there. There's two artillery positions, I think, here. It's just third division. Yeah, okay. You need to get over there. Also need to get over there. Get these guys cluster up there. And he's just going to run across. We'll keep the divisions together. That way I can keep combining in and throwing more guys into these divisions as necessary. Um, these guys are going to run over and get into this fort. But after that, they're going to be somewhat on their own because there's no terrain here that I can really support them with. So maybe I'll just keep a couple of brigades down here as insurance. Anyway. Okay, so this is 4th Corps. Division might be able to hold this. Like right, right here, I think. Depending on where they advance from. Or here, maybe. I'm going to want to get some more guys over there anyway. This is first Division. Where's my guys from second Division? Third Corps. Fifth Corps. Uh, oh, there they are. Fourth Corps, Second Division. Okay, put them here. And then it's the same problem here where um, they, they will sort of naturally. Uh, end up in these um, cover locations against um, this cover and so it's not the greatest position to try and hold. Um, I could sit further up maybe and contest them but that sort of opens the flank so I may want to just sit back a little bit and bait them in further to um, this fort. Where's my other second division troops? Oops. I guess that will have to do. Okay. They'll hold here for now, and then I'll rush some other guys up as, as the reinforcements here. I'm going to deliberately just leave him at the bottom of the map. I'm going to try to get him down to the other portion of the map. Okay. Just going to 
these guys will combine and I'll try to get them up here to help hold. Uh, I may deploy actually to, to hold here because this is actually worth holding I think. One, two, yeah I think that's worth holding. And then with one more is back up. All right, what do I have here? Third core, fifth core, third core. Third core, first division, they're really banged up. them to hold here. Um, maybe not in these forts, maybe. I have to check the ranging. It might be better to just stand a little bit further to make sure that they're stuck in the water. So otherwise I'm not sure if they have the range from right here. Then stay back slightly. Okay, and now, where's my other 5th core deployment zones? Well, like I said before, I'm going to have them also shift down. I'm just going to deploy them right here on the bottom, and hopefully they'll leak over. This is third core. This is, what, what do I have over here? Second, first and second division was over here, right? Yeah, okay. So let's not deploy you and you, because I want you in as reinforcements later. Third division and fourth division. Keep the snipers out. Um, so again, I'm gonna have them run over, join these guys, and we're gonna try and get in back and and start killing some artillery back there. Uh, one, two, I think three. Is that right? Should be good. Something like this. And then four, maybe, like down here. Like this is worth holding. Those guys aren't useful. Let's deploy. Combined division from their fourth division. 
and have them just hang out here. Just as sort of extra. Well, they may get isolated because I know there's supposed to be an angle of attack coming in here, supposedly. So I may want to push them up further. That's something to think about. Otherwise, these guys are super isolated. In fact, I'm going to give them the general to sit in there. Okay, anyway. Fifth Corps. It's just my first division. Did I assign enough troops to... No, I didn't. I was going to give them another three more brigades to sit sort of here. And then I need one, two, three brigades to run over there. One... This isn't the kind of <laughs> brigade that I would usually like to use for sitting inside fortifications. We'll have to do. Actually, shift them over one, two, and the artillery to run over there and instead um, third division oh, you guys are messed up leave you on the field instead Okay, so I think that is most of what I can deploy. Um, and we'll put some more artillery on the field here. Okay, get you moving up as well. Alright, let's get to it. Snipers going this way. Um, range cavalry hanging out here, just in the center. Want you guys just right here at the bottom. I said I'm really hoping that these guys get over into the other part of the map. Uh, 
these guns are probably good where they are. Just need to get out there. up with them. Predigars. Did I not have any other howitzers? They're moving over there. sit at that observation point instead. Okay, you can stay here. Push out across the river. There. to the fort. Let's get over there. Uh, and I miss them. Hold this part, maybe, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. They need to get down to here and then push them out instead here. So they're a little isolated being over here. But I don't have the artillery to support them. These cannons need to get out here to help support this. 
They're a little late getting out there. Push these cannons up a little bit. of artillery that I don't care about, um, excuse me, a bunch of cavalry I don't care about, I do care about the artillery. So I can't get them across the river and start harassing these, uh, that would be really good. their generals. That is a lot of artillery. <laughs> wow. Sorry, a lot of uh, a lot of pause action here um, to make sure that I've got everybody in the right position. Let's get them up there.
Looks like these guys are slowly getting closer. Um, shoot the generals first. Die range? No. Oh, sadness. Artillery. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get through to them. So. To, I need to somehow circle around, like into the trees or something, to get uh, to get over to these guys, or I could just hit them from the side. Looks like these guys are slowly advancing. Adjust my posture slightly. Okay, need to get out. Why did you move up? And these guys are bombarding him just like I want them to. Just slightly this way. basically leave them a, a small gap here.
Oh, that shouldn't, shouldn't have happened. guys are slowly trying to make their way in. That's obviously not happening. Okay, I've killed their generals. Mostly. So I can start on the artillery. What do I have range on? Nothing from here. You're fine. These guys are really doing a number on this artillery. General's dead. Head and shoot him. I don't know why you keep running. Take a look at the battlefield again. You're not doing anything interesting. Okay, they've started working down. You guys are all pretty much fine. Oh, they're starting to take a little bit of morale damage. Pretty much fine.
these guys are basically done, so I'm going to shift him over here, where he is a lot more needed. So I'm going to pull them off the line. Um, they don't have anything. I'm going out to challenge. These are t these these uh, these brigades because they don't have any troops left. In fact, I'm going to pull him also. I don't want to just sit there and get bomb uh, bombarded. Maybe. You can push on these guys together and just shove them all the way out. I think. Basically gotten pushed out.
to sit inside. Give them some skirmishers. up and turn and then these guys are fine on supply and I'm gonna push take him over here and start working on these artillery because it's getting a little silly out there these guys are having a lot of problems uh, really cleaning up all this inside there. Why do you not have ammo? I don't understand. Okay, sure, whatever. Oh, because this is the fort that doesn't give ammo. Right. I'm smart. I knew that.
that's fine. Fourth core, second div. Down there. I'm pretty sure these guys have all been shattered out, but I just want to check. Same as before. I'm going to see if I can't cheat and get him, get that division into the lower portion of the map. That would be really helpful. Excellent. Pull these guys over here. Second 
core fourth div. Nope, still too big. Okay. Get him moving out here. snipers have been just so strong. They're sitting in the woods, they have uh, an observation point, so there's no way that they can see me. 